Hello and welcome to the Wizard of Oz Tech. My name is John Momonsky and today we're going to talk about a remarkable discovery in the 1970s that turned the audio world on its head. I am of course referring to Magnapans. So let's get to it. In the 1960s, a 3M designer by the name of Jim Winey started to experiment with mylar and some aluminium wire and magnets to see if he could produce a better sound than the electrostatics that he had at home. And of course, that is how Magnaplaner was born. Then from the 1970s onwards, uh, models like the MG1 and MG2 and Timpanis and I'm about to reveal my age. I used to sell uh, Magna Pans uh, in the stereo store that I worked for all those years ago. And of course, I have a pair right now. Sitting right next to me is a pair of uh, Dot 7 Eyes, which I enjoy immensely. So let's find out a bit more about how Magna Pans work. Magna Pans are a dipole speaker. That means that there's no box so that the sound comes out the front and the back equally. The sound from the back, of course, is a very important part of the overall sound of Magnapan and helps create a, a deep sound stage and a great sense of realism. So inside a Magnapan is a, a long sheet of stretched mylar. Attached to the mylar are quasi-ribbon aluminium strips. They can be either six meters wide for mid-range and, uh, and bass or three meters wide for tweeters. On the other side of the mylar is a small gap and then strips of magnets, a bit like the refrigerator magnets you have at home. Magna planer, of course, is uh, used in other things apart from magna pans. A lot of high quality planar headphones use exactly the same principle. Magna pans are all made in White Bear Lake, Michigan at the Magna Pan factory and they start with the LRS or little ribbon speaker as they're called that sells for about $6.49 and go right through to the $30,000 top end uh, Magna Pans. So how do the Magna Pans sound? The simplest way to put it is they sound like the performance is there in your room with you. The voices, uh, particularly if you've got a, a lead vocal, uh, sound like that person is standing in the room and the depth of the sound stage is fantastic. So. If you're listening to an orchestra, for example, you're going to hear the French horns way down the back with the timpani and the woodwinds in the middle and the strings out the, out the front left and right. Uh, Magna Pans create a soundstage pretty much better than any other kind of speaker can. But what about the bass? People who love jazz, uh, small ensembles, uh, will probably find the full frequency range of the Magna Pans are fine. But if you like techno, rock and roll, soul, R&B, you'll want a pair of subs to go with it. The subs themselves need to be finely tuned so that they're just as flat as neutral as the Magna Pans are and almost as invisible so that the sound is there but it's not prominent. What sort of amplifier do you need? In the case of the Magna Pans which have very low efficiency, we're talking about 85 dB, which is quite low on the spectrum. And you can think of JBLs and uh, clips up in the 90s and high 90s, 85 dB is quite inefficient. Uh, and they run at four ohms. So you need a, an amplifier that A, can handle four ohms and handle that inefficiency. So really 100 watts aside is considered a minimum, uh, but it's also really about the current that the amplifier can produce. And some brands uh, like Denon, for example, make a point of talking about high current amplification. So keep an eye out for that to make sure you're getting to the three and a half or four volts that you need. So let me tell you about what I'm driving my uh, Magna Pan 0.7s with. So I've got uh, a pair of Schitt Vidar mono blocks uh, fed by the Schitt Freya Plus pre-amplifier and that works perfectly well. Uh, plenty of dynamics, plenty of range there and uh, that's what I'd recommend. You can either go for mono blocks, uh, which is my preference, or you can you know, get a high quality, uh, a, even a D-class amplifier is fine, so long as again it's about the current 
uh, as much as it's about the what's. If you've enjoyed watching this show today, please hit subscribe and uh, the notification bell and we'll make sure that you'll get all of the others as they come to you. My name's John Momonsky from thewizardofoz.tech. Thank you for being with us today.